Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready, loud shuffle this one. So your energy is nine of wands, knight of wands, king of cups, and the Four of Wands, your person's energy is the Star, Three of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Justice. Meeting energy is Two of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, our focus, Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Hierophant. This can be a committed relationship, guys, for some of you. It's a struggle. It is. Ten of Wands. And we are approaching uh, the moment of relief for some of you. It is possible that a betrayal was involved. Knight of Wands, uh, Seven of Swords. This is the reason um, or one of the reasons that can convince you guys that the connection is not the one for you anymore here we go patience uh, maybe patience is running out spontaneity it is difficult to find this energy especially if a connection is influenced by the seven of swords uh, energy because this can undermine the foundations of a connection and so it's like uh, we cannot trust anymore a partner. And even if they ask for forgiveness, um, you know, they can receive a no as an answer and uh, they can be left behind. Loneliness. Disappointment on your side, nine of wands, guys. Your defenses can be up for protection. Um, you can even say to your person that um, they played you, um, they fooled you, and basically they disrespected the emotional commitment that you granted in favor of the connection in the past, and they literally turned their back on the connection. Desert Passage. Well, it is a narrow pathway after all this one. Miracles. This person is wishing. They are asking for a miracle because of the star. Um, the miracle, from their perspective, is the one about the opportunity to be with you moving forward. It seems difficult. Uh, surrendering to the journey. Release control. We have another boat. Just like our focus, there is a lantern, guys. This can be about clarity. The clarity that uh, can be the one able to allow you guys to decide where you want to be moving forward. The two of ones is a crossroads, soulful decision. The decision can come after a conversation or a set of conversations with your person they would uh, they would love to avoid the justice moment but it seems that we are we are going there here we go the word End of a chapter, end of a cycle, completion. The man in the two of wands is holding the word. In this case, the completion is like a verdict that your person is going to receive. But they called for this outcome when they decided to turn their back on your connection because maybe they decided also to pursue... Uh, something else, a third-party situation, because basically you can call them out 
in a night of one's way, you know? And so, it's like they are caught. Ten of swords. Here we go. Four of wands. Mirror effect with you. Ace of pentacles. This can be a major apology, guys. It can be like an offer that is aimed at the opportunity to find a new agreement with you. If this is a marriage, they are going to try to save it. If you are not married yet and your person betrayed you guys, uh, they can try to use the card of the highest possible level of commitment in order to save the day. Ten of Cups. Star, Ten of Cups combination. Um, daydreaming. Daydreaming. But are they just naive, like a Page of Swords can be? Or like a Knight of Wands can be? What about you? Three of Swords. Eight of Wands. Recurrent Energy. The Conversation Part. Seven of Cups. A lot of questions and doubts. This can even be an energy about lies, guys. Meaning that, uh, unfortunately, you have been involved in a game that was not fair. And at some point... Um, you got the pattern right. Basically, you are the figure in front of the cloud, full of shenanigans. Now, this person can say that you are the dream for them, but it's like uh, some of you do not believe a word that comes from this person anymore. Nine of Cups. The connection was important for you. We can say that because this is a wish-granted energy and also the star um, follows along. The problem is that the man with the red hat can become arrogant and you can call out a partner because they did that. They put themselves on a pedestal because they wanted to pursue an ego-driven pattern, in some sense, without realizing that your connection was destined to pay a price for that. The price is basically the word, Ten of Swords, combination of energies. Let's see the meeting, guys. Super difficult to believe uh, this person uh, once again because of the Seven of Swords, lies, betrayals, deceits, kind of pick your poison according to the scenario. Eight of Cups. Moving on. Going away. King of Pentacles. An energy about commitment, guys. An energy about someone that can be reliable, grounded, trustworthy. This can be, this can be about your maturity. If we translate this energy towards your person, uh, they fell short. Maybe they can be in a good position um, when it comes to finances, but um, what can be questionable? are the roots of this person, the devil. This is a cycle, guys. Uh, devil, Seven of Swords, not the best um, combination. We know that. For me, this is about excesses, uh, behaviors or ways of doing things that can go from 0 to 100 in the snap of the fingers. That's why we can face problems. Three of Swords. Basically, um, you have been hammered by the decisions and the actions of your person and now now some of you 
just want to unchain your heart in order to break free from this connection. I love to see this trend card, guys. Uh, not only because it's a Leo energy, but also because it is one of the best possible ones in order to handle the devil power. This is about courage. This is about um, patience indeed, but no more patience in favor of this person. Then overcoming obstacles, holding back from unhealthy exchanges or situations or conversations. Uh, trust. There is uh, no more trust in this connection. Um, a vow of trust has been broken. You know that because of the Three of Swords. You can be super cautious if we follow the Nine of Wands energy. Um, you can be super cautious when your person tries to convince you guys that it was nothing, you know, the two of you can still uh, handle the situation uh, for the better. You can look at your person um, without, without offering a feedback immediately. You know, when we look at a person kind of thinking if they can truly be serious or not, you know. And we are moving towards a singlehood, guys. Nine of Pentacles, bottom of the smaller deck. Look, it's an ending. And if you are still here watching because you resonate, it can be a challenge. And it's going to take effort in order for you to wrap things up. But you can make it. You can be successful moving forward. The rite of passage is the one about the necessity to close this connection because you can find elsewhere the type of satisfaction that this relationship couldn't offer in your favor. And it can be a cliche um, the one that I am about to quote, but it's not in reality for me. Miracles. Uh, you have to become your own miracle. If we think about the opportunity to end a connection that is not healthy and positive, so that we can grant in our own favor the chance to be more successful in the following stages of the adventure and sometimes sometimes it's just a matter of realizing what's going on a matter of connecting all the dots in order to make a decision that can be the best possible one for us for us especially if we were dealing with someone that um, was more focused on themselves than on the best possible alchemy in favor of a relationship. And if there is no spontaneity in favor of a love connection, it is difficult to think about the opportunity to uh, move forward together. And that's why some of you are going to hit the road so that you can find elsewhere the emotional fulfillment that you desire and deserve. It is your right. Be brave and defend your choice. Because this person maybe is not going to understand it or like it. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.